You have survived the harrowing jail one, another circle apprentice roses you from your slumber. The morning after Fred about his delay of the harrowing, Joe informed you that Irving would like to speak to you. Interesting. Alright guys, hey, it's your boy Goku, and welcome back to some more Dragon Age Origins. Last time we completed our harrowing, and now, I guess, you know, we're gonna be a full-fledged uh, mage. You know, Jawa and our friend helped us up, he said Irving would like to speak to us, so uh, yeah, let's go uh, see what Irving wants. But first, let's go take a look around this place, you know? You know, this is our quarters, we're gonna be leaving it now, our fellow mages. Hello there, how are you? Well, you're taller than me. Don't worry, it's... Don't worry, it grows inside the bedroom, hold on. Can I... I can't... I can't zoom in more, can I? Darn! No first person view, but... How about, you know... You, me, in this bedroom, you know, huh? I mean, you're still an apprentice, I'll be moving up to the mage quarters with all the hot babes, so this is your last chance to get with a real hero, baby. Just saying, if you wanna hook up with a real hero. I mean, you, you, you got some nice cakes down there, I'll admit, you got some nice cakes, but, uh... You know, you and me, we can do some things later on, I'm just saying. Uh... Let me go... Do this chest real quick, let me loot all this stuff. Uh, lyrium. Okay then, we'll be taking that. Nice. Very nice. Any more stuff around here? Do -do -do. What are you, a twin sister? Hey, I do threesomes. Hey, I, I can do threesomes. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind! <laughs> Not interested. Uh, let's see. Here, nothing in here. Nothing sailboat in here. Hmm. Ugh, excuse me. Pardon me. Gotta go see Irving. Future future mage coming through. Soon to be mage, actually. Hmm. Let's go through here. Are you in here, Irving? Oh. Oop. Almost, uh, no. Hear what? I heard they suspect someone of dabbling in blood magic. Oh? Why would anyone do something so stupid? That's a death sentence. Because blood magic is powerful, you can bend others to your will and, and force demons into your service. That's what I hear anyway. Ooh, interesting. Not sure if I'll use blood magic or not, but it's interesting. Okay, Lesser Leer and Potion. I know that's for restoring magic, so definitely need to keep an excess of that. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Always gotta check. Check for more stuff. Is there anything here? Anything through here? Oh, yep. Vanity. Alright. Iron Staff. I could probably sell it for uh, some money, you know? It's a little bit janky. So let's, uh, let's head through here. Good, 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 good. We're on the right path, I think. I think we're on the right path. I get this place is huge. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, oh, can I? I can just leave. There's no Templars to stop me. I could just, I could just leave. I'm free. <laughs> just kidding. Wait, that's just the basement. That's not even the way out. That's the basement. Now, are you so stupid, Goku? Uh. All right, do here. Um, maybe I can sell those. Yeah, pretty big place, you know. Must control the fire with your will. Keep the flame steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's what causes most of the injuries. Injuries, <laughs> but, but, but. Steady. It reacts to your emotions. If you panic, it will. No, no, no. Breathe. Oh! 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 You know, in my experience, flint and tinder works just as well. Maybe we should start with that. Yeesh. Yeah, maybe you should. That that would have been catastrophic. <laughs> Can't you see that? Uh, 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 he hello. Wait. Yes, hello there. How are you? Don't you ever get homesick? What home? This is all I know. But um, if you're feeling a homesick, baby girl, you know you and me, we can uh, 
we can do some things, you know? I can, I can definitely help you get rid of those uh, emotions, you know? See, I told you, I might be small, but it comes big and, and big things come in small packages. That's, that's the moral of the story, you know? You, me, the bedroom. See, look, like she gets, she giving me the eyes, guys. She, she wants it. She needs it. She has to. Look, look at me, like I, like I'm, I don't even notice her. Are you just gonna walk away? Well, fine. I didn't want, I didn't want you anyway. I ain't never gonna get no pull in this place. <laughs> I ain't never gonna get no pull. Dang, man. You know, wearing these robes all day, practicing magic spells. <sighs> I mean, like, well, how old am I in this? I'm like, I'm just gonna, let's just say I'm 20. Okay. Magic must serve man and not rule over him. Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? Hey. No, that's not what it means. It means that magic should be used to help people, but we can't use our magic to to force people to do what we want. That's right. We should not abuse the gift the Maker has given us. Teacher, why can't we use our magic to abuse people? Like, people are kind of dicks, so I'm just wondering, can we at least use it to punish people who are dicks? Because there was this one guy who was, who was kind of being a dick to me, he stole my lunch. Happened to be a muffin, because it was Muffin Tuesday that night. And uh, I'm just wondering if... Would the maker be mad if I turned him into a giant frog and stepped on him? I'm just wondering if that's okay. I mean, I'm just saying. He kind of had it coming, you know? Uh, well, don't, don't dwell on too much, Goku. I'm sure it's all good, I think. <sighs> now then. I am not your enemy. Fear is your enemy. It is a weakness that can be exploited. Should you face a demon with your will wavering so, it would consume you. Is that what you want? N no. Then stand no. firm and know you can resist whatever I throw at you. Again. All right. Let's see what he got, guys. Can he overcome the trial? Oh. Is oh okay, then. All right, uh, hello, elf lady, fellow elf mage. Yeah, I like that my ears you really can't see, so you can't even tell if I'm an elf. I can pass for human. You can't even see it, because I look good. I look so good. Um, but we gotta fight Irving, man. We're just going all through the place. Learn it. See it all, my fellow magi learning, my brothers and sisters, as we are locked in this world. With great power comes great responsibility, and this ain't even Marvel. Second floor, huh? Maybe he's in the second floor, who knows? Never enter battle with your bare hands. That's true. <laughs> Didn't work out for me. Use the inventory screen I to equip new weapons or armor for quick access to restorative items like health uh, potions and yeah, all that stuff. Okay. Oh, there's, uh, Outwin, the guy who was made tranquil. Hmm. Let me take a look at him. You look dead inside, sir. You look absolutely dead inside. I feel so bad for you. And I'm kind of too close, so let me, uh, get, get out of your face. Not that you would care. Oh, what are you guys doing? Yeah. You cleaning? Dude, why are you cleaning without no rag? This, oh, do you have magical hands, huh? Uh, can you do, can you like just put sprinkle magic with your hands and that automatically just cleans up everything on the floor? And you, you have, you look good. I, no, no, I don't usually go for women who, who don't have that much hair, but you are rocking it, sister. Wait, she's tranquil. Ah, oh, damn it! And she has a nice booty and it has some nice chesticles too. God damn it, Templars! Why'd you have to make her tranquil? Today I shall be making more potions to send to the mages at Ostagar. God, you just sound absolutely dead inside. I feel so bad for you. You at least could have came to me and spent one night with me before you got tranquil. I mean, we could I could have made your last night memorable. It would have been so good you would have kept that memory. <laughs> Those emotions. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm truly sorry. I, 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 I truly feel sorry for you. 
was not as bad for me not hitting it first. Hey, who? Gotta go find Irving! <laughs> I am so horrible. Okay, so Irving should... I saw a way to him. Wait, no. He, he would have been... Um, so I have to get around. So actually, maybe I was going the right way. Okay. Let's cut through here. Uh. My pay. But John Frey would do something before it came to that. I think someone's here to speak to you, Senior Torrin. Uh, I guess I am. Hello, Senior Torrin. Hello. Congratulations on your heroing last night. Good work. Well, thank you. Um... So, um, uh, tell me about the Fernatories, is, uh... uh... Oh, they're found in all circles throughout Thedas. Groups of enchanters who hold similar viewpoints, who band together to make their voices heard. The most influential fraternity are the Equitarians. They are moderates and believe in a code of conduct that all mages should adhere to. Then there are the Chantry apologists, the loyalists. The Chantry says something and they follow it to the letter. The Lucrosians just want to make money, and the Isolationists would like us all to be hermits and live on an island. Then of course there are the Libertarians. They want more power for the Circle, more autonomy. Hmm. Should I ask what she belongs to? Well, which do you belong to? Huh. Well, if I had to. I'd say I was an Equitarian, but I ducked out of the fray a long time ago. Most of the senior enchanters are Equitarians. Irving, Wynne, Sweeney. Ulred's a Libertarian, and a loud one at that. Ah, uh, mages have enough opposition from the outside without tearing our circles apart with infighting. But what can you do? Yeah. Nah, I'm not gonna say. I'm just gonna go. Fair enough. Good day to you. Yep. Good day to you, sir. Thank you for the knowledge you gave me. Now, I am going to go find Irving because he is an elusive character. Irving, where are you? I want to be made mage! You know, I want to... I want to I wanna be a full mage. I, I, I gotta find Irving. Where, where are you? Miss, Monsieur Irving! Monsieur Ir Oh, wait, wait. I think I... Ah... Uh, the path... Uh, should be through here. Yep, okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere! Maybe if I head back this way. There we go, go through here. And then go around here. Ooh, new area. Darn it, Goku, stop getting sidetracked by stuff. Even though... They were... Oh, is she praying? Uh... Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Blessed are the penitents who seek his return. Blessed is the prophetess, purified by flame. May the chant reach the maker's I'm not looking at her butt, I promise. So let it be. I promise. Oh, I didn't see you there. I recite the maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. I should not have interrupted your meditations, I apologize. Oh, all right then. I should go. My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. And now I got to sneak a peek, peek at that boot hay. <laughs> Thank you, Maker. Yeah, you see, the Maker's on my side. He made it so that she prayed so I can stare at that booty. <laughs> the Maker, you see, the, me and the Maker are pretty tight. Just letting you guys know that. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's con let's continue. And, oh, wait, another. Oh, Lily. I heard about your harrowing. Congratulations. On oh. Day must have smiled upon you. Oh, well, thank you. Eh, that's not that impressive. Kind of like the other one. But you're, you seem like a nice lady, Lily, so uh, I won't hit on you. You might actually be an actual friend in this, in this world. All right, uh, let's uh, get, Irving should be right over here, finally. Dude, this guy's elusive. Oh, hello? Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynne, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. 
We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How oh. dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Oh, you're that Duncan guy. Well, um, uh, first enchanter? No, um, you sent for me. Ah, if it isn't our new brother in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is he. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. A Grey Warden in the tower? What's he doing here? Is this what you summoned me? Hmm. I'll just say pleased to meet you. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the king's army at Ostagar. Well, um, is that, is that all you wanted to tell me? Why, who are we fighting? Good question. The Darkspawn threat grows in the south. We need all the help we can get. Hmm. I see. Is that all you wanted to tell me? No, no, no. What are Darkspawn? They are twisted monsters that dwell underground where the sun's light cannot touch them. They have formed into a horde in the Kokari Wilds and threaten to invade north into the valley. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry the poor lad with talk of blights and Darkspawn. This is a happy day for him. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of magi. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, well, I don't like to my own horn, but I always knew I could do it. Um, <clears throat> yes, um, yes, um, thank you, First Enchanter. It is as you say, rightfully so. I'm sorry, what is this phylactery? Blood is taken from all apprentices when they first come to the tower, and is preserved in special vials. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them Proudly, for you have earned them. Well, I'm glad to be a part of this circle. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time to rest, or study in the library. The day is yours. Yes, sir. Uh, um... Well, I can't leave the tower, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? Um, sure, it'll be my pleasure. Let's go. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Well, handle your business. Yep, handle your business, uh, First Enchanter. All right, Irving, well, I guess you're with me now, Duncan. I'll show you to your quarters if I can remember them. Uh, oh, boy. Um, he said, uh, he, oh, I guess he follows me. So, Duncan, you're a great warden. That's pretty neat, you know? That's pretty neat. Uh, 
Um, I, you know, Grey Warrens is pretty cool. I'm a, I'm a full-fledged mage now. That's even awesomer. Well, I'm not gonna say it's awesomer because actually, you guys killed Darkspawn for a living. Uh, so I've heard, you know. Uh, yeah, I was, I was, I always wanted to be a Grey Warden. I don't think I'd cut out. You know, for it. I think I'd make a pretty good great warden if you ask me, but you know, you know, you know if you ever think about, you know, wanting me to join your, uh, your, uh, great wardens, I would, it would take a lot of persuading, but I might do it, you know, if I, uh, get the white persuasion, you know, I, I mean, my skills could be, oh, Colin, Colin, he hello, uh, you're, uh, you're a odd fellow. You're almost, you're slightly taller than me, but I like your. I gotta say, um, how you, why do you guys wear robes? You would think with all that heavy armor you want, you know, more maneuverability. And the, and, the, and the top parts, though they look cool, I don't think that's really practical for you guys swinging. Just saying. Greetings. I'm glad your harrowing went well. Oh, well, um, uh, thanks. That's reassuring. Some Templars I know discuss such things with glee. I don't share their enthusiasm. I try to serve the Maker first and foremost. As long as I am guided by his commandments, I cannot go wrong. Honestly, I've never seen an abomination, or been called on to slay one. So, uh, you don't know what an abomination looks like? As I said, I've never seen one, but when someone becomes an abomination, something must happen. But what if it's not obvious? Could abominations be walking among us right now? Hmm. I'm sure there are no abominations here. This is still new to me. Maybe one day I'll be as dedicated and driven as Knight Commander Gregor. Well, you know. Yes, he is a very dedicated man. I will, I will say that about him. You must be busy. Perhaps we can talk another time. Sure, Colin. Oh, if you excuse me, I have to get Duncan to his quarters. If I can find them, because... Oh, wait, there they are. Oh, I'm so glad this game lets you know. <laughs> all right, all right, Duncan, here's your quarters. Wow, you have a nice... Your quarters are nicer than mine! But then again, you are a great warden, but still... Dude. Like... Let me, uh, let me loot your stuff before, <laughs> before you, uh... You know, I gotta... I gotta... Commemorate, you know? I, can, I gotta inspect for stuff, making sure there's no poison for you. You know, it's it's all for your it's all for your benefit, Duncan. I promise. Uh, nothing here. Uh, nothing here. So, want to talk? Is there something else I can do for you? Hmm. So tell me, what's happening outside the tower? Ah, I imagine you don't leave very often, do you? Apprentices aren't allowed to leave. I am not a good source of news, I fear. I am preoccupied with the Darkspawn incursion. Hmm. How many mages have joined the King's army? When the King sent out the call, the Circle of Ferelden sent only seven mages to Ostagar. I asked King Caelan's permission to come and seek a greater commitment from the Circle. Hmm. Seven is quite a few. I hope to place a mage or two within every contingent. I cannot do with just seven. Mages will make all the difference in this battle. The Darkspawn have their own magic, and our resources must exceed theirs. Hmm. I have a mage got a useful... Will you fight with the king? Of course, but I am no mage. Mages heal. They can call fire and ice down upon the enemy, and so much more. I sometimes wonder if the Chantry's many laws regarding magic are necessary. Darkspawn are a greater threat than blood mages, even abominations. It takes decades for the world to recover from a blight. I wish the Chantry could see that. We must stop at nothing to defeat the Darkspawn. <laughs> ah, listen to me. An old man's rantings can't be very interesting. Well, you know, it's actually quite interesting, though. Define my life. Rather dull than I'll leave. But yeah, I've learned a lot from what you said, Duncan. <laughs> you are too kind. Hmm. Can you tell me more about the Grey Warns and Darkspawn? Certainly. 
I am intimately familiar with these subjects, after all. Well, tell me, um, what do Grey Wardens do? Our duty is to battle Darkspawn wherever they appear. We are elves, humans, and dwarves united by this common purpose. Elves? Some of our most honored wardens have been elves. The hero, Garahel, the last warden to slay an archdemon, was one such. The Darkspawn threaten everyone. They do not distinguish between the races, and neither should we. Has being an elf in the circle been difficult? Uh, not really. Honestly, I've been kind of... Yes, all the time. No, not at all. A little. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, honestly, not at all. I suppose you are mages first, and elves are humans second. Being a mage has its own set of problems, I expect. You're Taken not wrong. from your families at a young age, told you are the prey of demons. It is not a life many would choose had they a choice. We're common Jedi, basically. Except this time we can't leave. <laughs> it's like a mixture of Jedi and Sith. You can't leave. If you do, we'll kill you. <laughs> so, um, have there been many darkspawn attacks? A horde has formed within the Korkari wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an Archdemon is leading the Horde. Hmm. S that sounds ominous. Darkspawn do attack the surface in ragtag bands, but Archdemons are capable of rallying the Darkspawn, turning them into an unstoppable force. A Horde of Darkspawn, a veritable army. It is dire news indeed. I fear this is what we will have to face. Hmm. And the king is mustering an army to beat back this threat, right? Yes. Perhaps it will be enough if we play our cards right. Hmm. Why were Irving and Gregor arguing about the war? It is not my place to comment. Ah, uh, please, I'd like to know! Gregor serves the Chantry, and the relationship between the Chantry and mages has always been strained. You've realized by now that the Chantry merely tolerates magic? They watch only because they feel they must. Hmm. Yes, but they were arguing about the war. Any mages who join the King's army can unleash their full power on the Darkspawn. In fact, I'm counting on it. Gregor may be afraid of what will happen. What if the mages decide they no longer want to be governed by the Chantry? Well, I'd like your opinions on the matter. I believe we must defeat the Darkspawn, one way or another. My opinions end there. Alright, fair enough. I'd like to talk more, but I have duties to attend to, so take care of yourself, alright? Of course. Don't let me keep you. Well, we learned quite a bit about the Darkspawn, the Grey Wardens, the War, Mages, Irving, and Gregor and their little disputes. So, oh, uh, hello, is that you, Jowan? Joe on. Uh, what's up, dude? What's going on? I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? Um, were you following me? Does it really matter? I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? Well... Why are you whispering? This looks very suspicious. Shh! I just want to make sure we're not overheard. We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. You're starting to worry me, Jalon. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. All right. What is this all about? Jeez. We should be safe here. Wait, you're that lily. You're that lily chick. Um. Uh, and the Jedi. Um, I'm pretty sure he realized there's a priest standing here, so... Alright, what's going on? A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. Oh, the one with the flat butt. Okay, um... My condolences, Lily! <laughs> ah. Yep. This fat cow is your love, Dude! Dude, that is such a- my condolences, Lily. 
Very funny. <laughs> well, <laughs> Well, I could care less if it's forbidden. Hey, hey, hey. I'm happy. I'm truly happy for you both. There is something else. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. What? They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. Uh... Yeah, that sounds terrible. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk, breathing and existing, but not truly living. Hmm. And how did you find? How did you find this out? It's a good I question. saw the document on Grego's table. It authorized the right on Jowin, and Irving had signed it. Irving signed it, but why would they do this to you? There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. They think that making me a circle mage will endanger everyone. And are they right about that? Be honest with me, Jalen. Are they right about it? Of course not. But it's not safe here for me anymore. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help. And we will tell you what we intend. All right, I trust you, but there have been rumors about the about blood magic, you know. <sighs> Why do I get myself in these in these th kind of situations? I mean, if I may quote a great man, Axel, why do I always get stuck with the icky jobs? <sighs> you have my word, Lily. Thank you. We will never forget this. <sighs> tell me your plan. Now, just what do you intend to do? I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? So, are you suggesting we break through it? But wait, what if it's a magical door? We have no choice. We cannot get our hands on both keys. I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stockroom, but a Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. Ah, oh, God. I will go to the stockroom and retrieve this rod. We should stay here. One mage at the stockroom will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Oh, so I have to do all the dirty work. No, 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 it's a good idea. Good luck. I will prayers go with you. I'm gonna need it. Maker? You always had my back. I'm gonna need this. Uh, uh, Alright, where can I, uh... So, this is what we're doing. I just got settled in, and now I'm breaking rules. Already, I just got my new position, but no! I have to be a good friend! You see, this is this, this, this that level of bull bull I have to deal with, guys. All the time. I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm riding high. I'm, an, I'm just got, you know, anointed mage. I'm part of the circle. And now I have to do something despicable. But, Ir why did Irvin... Well, it's not... He doesn't have to tell me, but still. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm caught in between a rock and a hard place. I'm trapped between helping a friend and his girlfriend with a flat butt. You know, or in my, in you know, being loyal to the circle and all that stuff and whatnot. I, uh, well, I guess you have to find out how this is gonna go in the next episode, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe to support the channel, and I will see you all next time. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye.